Hey guys, this is Alexander from Shaska Tech. In this video, I will share with you this DBS S2 TT2 and C compliant MPEG 248.264.265 only 8 bits compliant handheld combo meter device. This one WS6980 model or Sunlink series. This is the device. This is the retail box. This is the carrying bag to protect the meter when we carry it. This is the car charger and a lot of cables. This is the belt. And this is, this CD is actually a user manual. We can get the PDF volume. Yeah. This is the screen volume for you to protect the backup to stick on the screen to protect the screen. And to the power adapter, normally we can offer EU plug volume. US plug volume, UK type, and Australia AO type in default for users from different regions. So, and to the meter device itself, let's check them one by one, okay? On the main menu, there are DBSS2, TT2C Spectrum, Loop Search, others, multimedia system setting. Okay, under the DBSS2, we see there exists a lot of sunlight here, this did here. For different regions, the sunlight will be different. As to the firmware, it will be pre-stored for corresponding regions. For example, American region, European region, Atlantic region, Asia Pacific region. Right? Yeah, typically these two diff four different types of firmware will be offered for users from these different regions. Okay, next is DVT T2, right? As we see, DVT T2 and C are normally popular in Europe, Africa, part of Asia Pacific, and part of South America. But these two are not supported by North America. In North Amer America, it should be ADSC that will be used. So these two functions will be almost useless if this de device is applied in North America. Yeah. But DBS S2 will be useful for satellite search and verification. Spectrum and lights. It is one typical feature of this combo meter. Yeah. Next, loop search. Then Others, let's see what will be included. Channel list. Of course, currently we connect nothing, so no, cha no channel. Yeah. EPG, sunlight list, transponder list, motor setting, angle calculation, optical power, etc. And then next, the multimedia. We shall insert some external device so this meter can read the multimedia info from outside. Okay, next, we see the system setting. In default, the language is in English. Though we can check, uh, set it as French, German, Italian, Spanish, etc. Yeah, we can change it to, for convenience or our use. Then the next country name is just a name, nothing special. And other information can be found here including the volume information, where the users can also do the factory reset when you need. When your firmware is got, update can be processed. Yeah, that's the main manual information offered to us. And to the panel, we see there are buttons, digit buttons, and these are indicators. Yeah. Let's check the side of this meter. This is MB in port, ANT in port, DC out, and this is for fiber optical meter connection. This is a power on, power off button. Here it is a DMI in, and this is AV in port. On the other side, we see this is for power cord, plugging, USB port. This is a DMI in. Okay, this is AV out, a demo out, yeah. 
Okay, that's the interfaces of this meter, and then let's power off it. We check the back side, which is the battery installation. Okay, we can remove it off to save the information to read it. Inside, there is this, the WS69 and the those information printed here. As we see, power adapter 12 volts, 1.5 amps. Normally, we offer 1.5 to 2 amps. This is the battery. Some information is printed on the battery. 7.4 volts, as we see. Okay, this is the battery part. It can be removed. As to the power adapter, normally we can offer different types for users from different regions. EU type power adapter. This is US type for North America. This is UK type for UK or Ireland or Malta, Cyprus, etc. Malaysia. This is AU plug type for Australia or New Zealand. Depending on the user's location country. Yeah. These are a lot of accessories such as car chargers, a lot of cables, and this is the belt. Yeah. And to this, this CD, actually it is the e version of the manual. And this is the screen for you, for our meter. Yeah, for our meter. Okay, it's a brief introduction of this combo meter, which is quite useful, especially when applied in Europe, or Middle East, or most of Asia Pacific. Yeah, a lot of users use, use this device for their satellite TV, service installation and uh, verification, antenna installation, etc. Yeah. As to the device, its screen is five, 7 inch, so it's a big screen, yeah, for the handheld meter. Very good to use. Okay, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.